aquanauts. Well, they're wrapping up a 10-day undersea mission today, trying to find ways to save the world's coral reefs. The rainforests of the sea continue to die at alarming rates. Jeff Burnside, the only reporter to broadcast live from the undersea lab Aquarius, reports on this latest mission. The world's only permanent undersea research lab is nine miles off Key Largo, where the latest 10-day mission is nearing the end of its critical experiment to save coral reefs. We're up at 4 this morning. Inside Aquarius, aquanauts can remain safe and keep working without having to surface, so they can get a month's worth of work done in one week. It really gives us the advantage to not have to worry about a lot of the side effects of, of diving that would, uh, would otherwise impact us because we can stay submerged, stay here for a long period of time and work continuously. Outside this window, scientists are delivering plates full of little pieces of coral. More than 300 of them are cemented onto a test reef. The sprigs are grown from a variety of sources, including undersea farms or in research labs. What we're trying to do in this mission is identify those sources of coral that are going to be most successful for restoration. Coral scientists know that humankind is inflicting enormous damage on reefs worldwide from ship groundings like these, but also onshore pollution and climate change because warming sea temperatures and increased acidity kills coral. So figuring out which corals can be transplanted to help damaged reefs is an important accomplishment. And so it will be exciting if these are going to be useful to us and for enhancing natural populations that are in such trouble. Later this summer, sea temperatures may get hot enough to impact those corals, and that's when the scientists of Aquarius will learn more about which species of coral they can use to help save reefs in the future. Jeff Burnside, South Florida Tonight. That is really